Yes, it's 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 a very sad, um, you know, morning, mm. given the news confirming the inevitable. Uh, because after so many days, uh, it would have been the eighth wonder mm. uh, if we were told that he was uh, retrieved from the rubble mm. alive. And so it was always, uh, after a while, uh, going to be the sad news. It could have been worse, mm -hmm. especially because we know how um, one of our top musicians, um, Castro, Castro uh, till date, mm -hmm. uh, has not been found. So it could have been worse. In this case, if we are told that the body has been retrieved, um, we can only uh, thank God. I hope that it will give some closure, you know, to the close uh, relatives and, uh, you know, friends. Um, I initially was very uh, unhappy about the manner that the news about his disappearance, mm. you know, was um, managed, uh, giving false hope uh, mm. that he had been retrieved, mm. uh, supported by, you know, news supported by his club, mm. and then also supported by the Ghana Embassy, only for us all to be told that uh, it was as a result of misinformation. I think it was a mistaken identity. Yes, one can understand the frenzy at the time. Mm -hmm and how that could have uh, led to this uh, level of misinformation. It is just my hope that uh, this time around, what is reported is actually um, fact what the fact is, you know, uh, uh, because it will be unfair to take the family and close relatives and fa uh, friends through that emotional roller coaster. Uh, I hope this will give them closure. Uh, the Ghana Black Stars uh, has lost an outstanding, you know, um, uh, player. And my condolences to the entire team, uh, especially those that he uh, was very close to and to his family members, his wife and children. Uh, a lot of testimonies have, have poured in about how, you know, philanthropic he was. I just hope that uh, whatever good that he did uh, in society to promote uh, humanity, uh, will, 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 will be interred with his uh, bones. And whatever reward lies uh, the hereafter, it is my prayer that uh, he will have mercy as a result of, uh, you know, the good that he did uh, to promote, uh, you know, good life for some people. So once again, my condolences to the family, my condolences to the plain body, uh, his friends and his, uh, you know, uh, close relatives. It's a very, 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 very sad morning because nobody should die this way. I, I, I am saddened by the manner in which um, Christian Achu, you know, has, has passed away. It's a very, very difficult one. And this morning I am only wondering how his family is, is actually taking this, especially knowing that in, in Ghana here, um, once you have a footballer, the stature of Christian, then he basically is the breadwinner of the entire family. And you can imagine the level of economic <laughs> independence as, as you, you want to put it that he's brought to the family, the, the level of improvement that he's brought to the, yeah. to the lives of the family back home in Ghana. And I mean, we all know him because he's a footballer. And because he was a footballer, yeah. his news was always out there. We could see all the like um, Honorable said, the philanthropy that he did in, in this country. I, I remember him rightly for, he has a prison project, yes, yes. you know, where he intervenes for people who are in our prisons as a result of little, little things. And I used to read news about how he's paid for fines and paid for all manner of things for people yeah, to be released from prison. And, and all the donations, they were always out there. And one of the things that I hear everybody speak of for Chris was the fact that he was always helping the, the needy in society. I am very saddened, very, very, very saddened. Um, and and even to, to hear some of the stories around the way he's passed, mm. an earthquake, and you know, can you imagine the, 
the sort of pain he had to endure, you know, and all of that before before he passed. My my heart goes out to the family, you know, the the parents, the siblings. I hear he was a twin, mm, yes, the yes. twin sister, and this morning I'm reading that the twin sister, the senior brother, and the manager were at the site when he was born. You can imagine. I mean, you can imagine how the pain, the, yes, how they would handle this and.